Assalamualaikum and hi, welcome to lesson 1 of tutorial 7, Trigonometric Functions. So in this video, we are going to discuss question 1. Use the compound angle formula to find the values for each trigonometric expression in terms of thirds in simplest form. So I will discuss question A, B and C. So let's start with question A. Sign negative 105 degree. So to use compound angle formula, so for compound angle formula, we have sine A plus minus B, cos A plus and minus B, tangent A plus and minus B. So if you see all these three formula, they are using two special angles, A and B. So for sine negative 105, Firstly, I will take out the negative outside, so negative sine 105. And that is because it is the rule of trigo that sine negative theta equals to negative sine theta. And then cos negative theta is the same as cos theta for tangent negative theta equals to negative tangent theta. So, I could take out the negative sign for sine negative and tangent negative. Then, what can I decide for the special angle for 105 degree? The special angle, we have 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. So, I will change that into 45 and 90. So, I will change this into 45 plus, I'm sorry, 45 plus 60. So this will become negative sine 45 plus 60. So I will use the compound angle formula sine A plus minus B equals to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. And you can refer this to your special angle table or you can just press your calculator and it will give you the exact value sine 45 degree is 32 over 2 cos 60 degree is half plus 32 over 2 times 3 over 2 Besides set 2 over 2, you can use 1 over set 2. So set 2 over 2 and 1 over set 2 is the same value. So maybe some of you use 1 over set 2. It's okay. Both values are acceptable. Now simplify. Then we have set 2 over 4 plus set 6 over 4. And I can factor out 1 over 4, then we have negative 1 over 4 in bracket set 2 plus set 6. So for those who use 1 over set 2, you might have different answer. 1 over 2 set 2 in bracket 1 plus set 3. Okay, next question is B, tangent 7 pi per 12. So we are going to use compound angle tangent A plus B. So tangent 7 pi per 12. So what can you decide for the special angles in the bracket A plus B? So 7 per 12 can be 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3. So I would change that into pi over 3 and pi over 4. And then we use the compound angle formula. Tangent A plus B equals to tangent A plus tangent B over 1 minus tangent A tangent B. So substitute in the formula tangent pi over 4 plus tangent pi over 3 over 1 minus tangent pi over 4, tangent pi over 3. 
So tangent pi over 4, use your calculator, equals to 1. Tangent pi over 3 is set 3. And make sure your calculator in radian mode. And 1 minus set 3. But this is not the simplest form. The simplest form, we have to multiply with the conjugate. And the conjugate of this is 1 plus set 3 over 1 plus set 3. Okay, so we simplify this. Expand 1 plus 2 set 3 plus 3 over 1 minus 3. Then you have 4 plus 2 set 3 over negative 2. So you can factor out 2 in bracket 2 plus set 3 over negative 2 and cancel out 2. Then final answer negative 2 minus set 3. Alright, so for question C, cot 120 minus 60. So we cannot calculate cotangent, but we can calculate tangent. So we change that into 1 over tangent 120 minus 60. And then use the compound angle again. Nah, but now the position is swapped. It will be 1 plus tangent 120 tangent 60 over tangent 120 minus tangent 60. So be careful with the sign. And then use your calculator. 1 plus tangent 120 is negative set 3 times set 3 divided by negative set 3 minus set 3. So simplify this is negative 2 over negative 2 set 3. Then final answer is 1 over set 3. Done. So I have done question 1 A, B, C. Now your task is to finish question D, E and F. Okay, so let's continue with question 2. Without using calculator, evaluate the following using double angle formula. So A cos negative 60. So using double angle formula, cos 2A, we have 3 formula for cos 2A. And I will choose the second formula which is 2 cos square A minus 1. So to use double angle formula, we can change negative 60 into 2 times negative 30. Then using the formula 2 cos square negative 30 minus 1. Again, you can press your calculator. Cos 30, cos negative 30 is actually the same as cos 30. So cos negative 30 is the same as cos 30. So use your calculator. Cos 30 is set 3 over 2 squared minus 1. So final answer, half. So next I will discuss question 2D. 2 sin pi per 12 cos pi per 12. So D 2 sin pi per 12 cos pi per 12. So if you see this form, this is actually 2 sin A cos A. Which can be found in double angle for sine 2a. So I'm going to change this into sine 2a. Your a is pi per 12. So here we have sine pi per 6. So sine pi per 6, again use your calculator in mode radian. You will have 1 over 2. Okay, so that's done. So I have done A and D and the rest of the question complete by yourself.
So please complete B, C, E, and F. So good luck.